hello good day people today we are going to look at a triangular section of an open channel flow okay we're going to look at how to calculate for the hydraulic radius and the hydraulic depth of a triangular section of an open channel flow so um this is a question i think we have an angle of 30 degrees okay so let's say we have this triangle here hmm? we have this triangle with a depth of y and a top width of b This is an angle theta. I have here to be two theta. Okay. Um, let's label the corners to be C, O, and B. Okay. So our Y was given as two fifty mm, but we don't have the B, which is the top width. So we would have to calculate for the B before we can go ahead and calculate for our area of flow, our top, um, our wetted perimeter. Then we use those two information to calculate for our hydraulic radius R and our hydraulic depth D. Okay, so let's go ahead. Solution. So calculating for our top width, we have our top width, our top width um, B, okay. Our top width B is equal to 2 times Y than theta, okay. Theta is the angle for this section. Therefore, we have... 2 times our y is 250mm which is 0 0.25 then our theta is 30 degrees then 30 okay so this is giving us um, 0 0.288 meters that is the v here so this V is given as 0 0.288 meters. Alright. Now, um, we could also realize that CO is equal to BO. Okay. CO is equal to BO. Um, CO is equal to BO. And it's giving us Y is equal to cos the angle theta okay y is given as 0 0.25 divided by cos cos theta which is 30 this is also going to give us 0 0.288 meters all right so now we can calculate for our area of flow. Area of flow A of a triangle. Area of a triangle is given up the half times B times Y. We already know our B. Therefore, half times 0 0.288 okay, times our Y. 0 0.25 is equal to 0 0.036 meter squared okay okay now we calculate for our weighted perimeter p Weighted perimeter P is equal to 
the perimeter around our triangle okay that is co and bo but we know that co is equal to bo no 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 um the area around our triangle so co plus bo then we know that co is equal to bo we already had 0 0.288 plus 0 0.288 because it's the same so when we add this to you're going to get 0 0.57 six meters okay now we can calculate for our hydraulic radius r hydraulic radius r is equal to area of flow divided by rated perimeter area of flow is given as 0 0.036 divided by rated perimeter 0 0.576 Dividing this one by dividing the area of flow divided by water perimeter, I'm going to get 0 0.0625 meters. Okay, now our hydraulic depth D is so equal to area of flow divided by the top weights, the top weights which we calculated for are 0 0.028. So, area of flow. 0 0.036 divided by our top weight 0 0.288 is equal to 0 0.125 meters so this is our hydraulic radius and this is our hydraulic delta